Now, look, if we don't have thorough testing, then we don't even know what we're treating as a practitioner. If I, if you say, Dr. Heather, I have fatigue, my hair's falling out. I can't sleep at night. I cannot lose weight. I can't get any thinner. What's wrong with me? Well, we could speculate and I could say, oh, that sounds like low thyroid. I could also speculate and said, that sounds like an underlying infection. Maybe it's an adrenal issue. Maybe your hormones are all out of balance. Who knows, but you have to have thorough testing. And I'm not just talking about like thorough thyroid testing, because you could do all the thyroid testing and you have the list of all the hypothyroid symptoms. And we're like, you don't really have a thyroid problem. Sorry. Right. But, but what is the problem, right? Is it an underlying infection? Is it inflammation? Is it adrenal dysfunction? Is it hormones? Is it um, heavy metals? Is it biotoxins? Is it food sensitivities? Is it gut issues? Right. So you have to be super, super, super thorough to really understand what's going on underneath the surface. If you treat symptoms, you are going to get minimal results. I had this great um, um, case today and I accepted her as a patient. I know she's just going to do really awesome, but when I was looking at her saliva testing, she had all the typical symptoms that every one of you have. Um, and when I look at her saliva testing, her hormones are on absolute hormone overload. So her testosterone was like, I think it was over 150 and it should be between, um, 13 and 39. Hers was over 150, like a teenage boy. And her estrogen was so high, it couldn't even be measured. It was greater than 50. A postmenopausal female, her estrogen should be between two and six. Hers was greater than 50. Her progesterone also so high, you can't measure it, greater than 2000. A postmenopausal female's progesterone levels should be anywhere from 19 to 95 or 15 to 95. She was greater than 2000. I'm telling you that a menstruating female never even comes close to those numbers for estrogen A menstruating female really shouldn't go over 15. And this poor lady was greater than 50. This is what happens when you treat symptoms without testing. I'm like, did they test your hormone? She's like, no, not really. I'm like, well, how did they know what to do? And she's like, well, I think they were just going off my symptoms. Um, they tested the thyroid and the thyroid looked okay. So they thought, well, it has to be hormones. Can't be anything else, which we uncovered a lot of other things that it was. Um, but I said, well, when you started taking these hormones, did you notice a change in symptoms? She's like, no, not really. And so she still felt terrible. And it was because they weren't addressing the true root cause of the issue. And if you do not test, you cannot find the root cause of the issue. Symptoms are just warning signs. They are not pointing at specific diagnosis. You have to get good, thorough testing, and then you have to analyze it from a functional perspective so that we're not just giving you names of diseases, but what's going on underneath the surface. And that's the comprehensive diagnosis.